Hi, I'm Mark Bunker, coming to you from sparkling Clearwater, Florida, here in the very heart of Scientology's religious mecca. The latest shocking news story involving Scientology deals with the tiny little leader of Scientology, David Miscavige, and his elderly father, Ron. Ron was a member of Scientology's elite C organization, the paramilitary outfit inside Scientology. Now, these are the most dedicated members who work over 100 hours a week for $50 a week if they're lucky. At one point, Ron decided he'd had enough, and Ron blew. That's a Scientology term, meaning that he left without permission. Didn't jump through all the hoops Scientology wants you to jump through, being grilled on an e-meter for months on end to find out what your crimes are and to make sure that you're not going to talk to the press. Well, when Miscavige's father blew, this really panicked David Miscavige to such a degree that Miscavige hired two PIs to follow his, to follow his elderly father everywhere he went. $10,000 a week of tax-exempt money went to follow this man in his late 70s because David Miscavige was so paranoid and worried about what his father might say. These PIs put a tracker on Ron's car. They snap pictures of him every day to send back to uh, Miscavige to let him know what his dad was up to, who he was talking to, who he was emailing. It's insane. But the worst moment came when it appeared to the PI that David Miscavige's father, Ron, was having a heart attack in a parking lot, and he didn't know what he should do. Should he break his cover and go help this man who he thought might be dying? So he called into his boss, and within two minutes, David Miscavige personally called back this PI and said, if it's Ron's time to die, let him die. Thanks, Dad. It's just mind-boggling to think that this man is the head of a church, and this church is tax-exempt. They weren't always tax-exempt. They were stripped of their tax exemption in 1967, and they should be stripped of it again. If you'd like to see Scientology stripped of that tax-exempt status, head on over to the White House and sign the petition. Thank you.